welcome to another video. Our topic today is... Hello! Welcome to another video. Our topic today is... Okay guys, our topic today is past continuous. Okay? Firstly, we have to know what do we use past continuous. We use the past continuous to talk about story background. Yes, if we want to tell story in the past, we use the past continuous to describe the background. For example, the beards were in the sun was shining. Yeah? The birds were singing and the sun was shining. We are describing how the environment look like. Okay? Another use we use past continuous to talk about or to describe what someone was doing at a particular point in the time. Yes? For example, I was running Yesterday, when you called me, yes, I was running yesterday when you called me. So, what happened? I couldn't answer the phone because in that particular time when you called me, I was running. Yes, I was doing another activity. Another use of past continuous is to talk about past habits. Okay? For example, she was Constantly singing at school. She was constantly singing at the school. Yes, it's an activity that she always was doing in the past. Yes, when she went at the school, she was always singing, okay? Always constantly singing, okay? It's an, a past habit. Lastly, we use the past continuous when we want to put emphasis in the length of the action, okay? For example, I was working in the garden or I was 
was working in the garden all day. Yes, we want to emphasize how long was the action. It, it took me the whole day to work in the garden. Yes, I was the whole day, the complete day working in the garden. How do we form the past continuous, okay? For affirmative sentences, we need subject plus the verb to be in the past plus the main verb and we add ing, okay? First, subject, we know them, so I You, he, she, it, we, you, they. Okay? The verb to be in the past. What is the verb to be of I? I am. Yes? But I am in the past. The verb to be is was. Okay? For you, estamos, are. But in the past, we use were. Yes? For he, she, it, we use it. But in the past, we use We, you, and they, Samus, are, and in the past, we use, were. Yes? And we add the main bar, for example, read. And we add ing. Really? Yes? So in this way we form affirmative sentences. I was reading. You were reading. He, she, it was reading. We, you, they were reading. Were reading. Yes? What's the meaning of these sentences? I was reading. Yo estaba leyendo. Yes? I was doing this activity in the past. Okay, now we are going to see how to form negative sentences in the past continuous form. Yes? We need a subject, we need the verb to be in the past, we add not to the verb to be, and we need the main verb with ing. Okay? Subject, I, you, he, she, it. We, you, they. Okay? We have the subject. We have the verb to be in the past. Yes? I was. 
la not. To make the sentence negative, we need to add to the verb to be in the past not. Or we can use a short form. Wasn't. Yes? You, the verb to be in the past, were plus not, or the short form, weren't, okay, or he, she, it, we use not or the short form wasn't or we use they we use were plus not or the short form Word. And the verb, the main verb, for example, read plus ing. Yes, always remember this. The main verb, we have I and you. So we have I was not or wasn't reading, you weren't reading, he, she, it wasn't reading, we, you, they weren't reading. Yes? What is the meaning of this sentence? You weren't reading. Tú no estabas leyendo. Okay? Now we are going to see how to write interrogative sentences. We need to change the order of the words, yes? In affirmative statements, we start with the subject and then the verb to be in the past. But for interrogative sentences, we change the order. First, we need the verb to be in the past then the subject, then the main verb with ing, okay? I was reading, you were, were you reading, he, she, it, something was, Was he, she, it reading? Now, for we, you, they, we use were. Yes, were we reading? And we need a question mark here. Okay? Now, to answer these questions, we can answer yes or no. Yes? Was I reading? And I can answer yes or yes. I was reading or no. wasn't really yes the same with he she it was she reading yes she was 
reading or no, she wasn't reading. Now for we, you, they, for example, we can answer yes, they were reading or no. They weren't reading. Yes? So, were they reading? Yes, they were reading. Or, were they reading? No, they weren't reading. Now, to form the pair with ING, we have some uh, rules that we have to follow. Yes? Now we are going to see all of them. First, verbs ending with E. Yes, we drop the E and add ING. Okay, so write writing. Make we drop the final E making write we drop the final E writing. Okay, this is the first rule. The second one is verse ending with. E, E. Yes? To first end with E, E, we just add ING at the end. Agree? Agreeing? Please? Being? See? Yeah? So, with one E, drop the E and add ING. With two E, we just add ING. Verb ending with I, E. Yeah? This is the third rule. Die, tie, lie. With which is the rule for this verse? Verb ending with I, E, we drop the I, E, yes, the I, E, and we add the Y, okay? And then I, N, G, for example, dying, yes, we drop I, E, and we add the Y, and then I, N, G. Dying. Lying. Perfect. The fourth rule. Verbs ending with one vowel and one consonant with W the last consonant. Yes? Eat. Sitting. Run. Running, stop, stopping, yes, the fifth rule, yes, for two syllable verbs. If the first syllable is stressed, we just add ing. Answer, yes, we have here the stress in the first syllable. So we only add ing. Now, if the 
second syllable. It's stress. We have to double the last consonant. Yes? The stress is in the second syllable. So we double the consonant. 